Are you using your bricks and mortar store, your market store, your pop-up shop to the best of its ability? Whilst a lot of retailers shy away from the overheads and responsibility that comes with having a bricks and mortar store, the fact is with the overheads comes a distinct competitive advantage. But are you using that to the best of its ability? Hey there, I'm Selena Knight, The Retail Biz Strategy, here to help small biz retailers just like you. And today, let's talk about brick and mortar stores. When you have a brick and mortar store, not only do you need to exploit every piece of real estate in and around it, but you also need to fully utilize the people that you hire and their skills. Open a customer's eyes to what else is out there. If a customer comes in for a specific product, you have the ability to actually show them products that they may not have ever come across. And it's your job as the retailer to make the shopping experience as fulfilling as possible. And this means offering cross sells. If a customer comes in for some new dinnerware, show them placemats, a fruit bowl, or a gravy boat. When opened up to new possibilities, a customer is likely to enjoy the experience more. Trust me, if they're not interested, they will tell you. And educate a customer. A customer can be anti a product before they even enter your store. Maybe a friend mentioned something or perhaps they saw a review on Facebook. Perhaps they don't even know why they don't want a product. But if you think a product totally suits what they're looking for, it's up to you to educate them on why the product will work for them. Allay their fears, answer their questions, and let them make an informed decision. You have a competitive advantage. Now, emotions. People buy on emotion, we know this. And no matter how great your images are on a website, nothing beats the physical. Being able to touch, being able to smell, being able to try on. I love online shopping, and recently I had to buy four new bar stools for my kitchen. They had to have a back, and they had to go with a timber and white kitchen. And I thought I'd found the perfect ones online, but my husband, bless him, was adamant that we had to go and sit in them. I was so glad he did, because those stools, they were uncomfortable. The back wasn't high enough, and in real life they looked, well, cheap. I instantly reacted to those bar stools, both physically and emotionally. And I also became super clear on what I was actually looking for. I'd educated myself, because their sales stuff weren't particularly helpful, and I was open to what else was in the store. So I started looking at rugs as well. Now, when I was shopping on the online store, I hadn't even thought to start looking at the rugs or the cushions. The brick and mortar store had the ability to significantly increase my order value. Now, ensuring that your staff are well-trained and they know how to actively listen and problem solve a solution for your customer, and that your staff know your products intimately will have you increasing the money that your customer is spending in your retail store. Now, if you would like all of this information curated for you into a nice, neat download, you can have it. Just visit selenanight.com forward slash retail 40. And if you found this information useful, come and join the Bringing Business to Retail community. You'll find a bunch of retailers from all over the world chatting all things business. And best of all, it's free. Now, if you want to chat about today's episode or grab the download or the link into the community, visit selenanight.com forward slash retail 40. Until next week, be profitable.